Welcome everybody. This is Pooja Arya with Cyber Group bringing you the tidbit session on Salesforce to show how to visualize your reports data. In this session, we will learn about dashboards and charts. In our previous session, we have already covered how powerful the reports can be. Reports help us in making decision and take actions but sometimes, depending on the audience, the visualization of data becomes more impactful and important. On a Salesforce dashboard, you can use dashboard components to showcase multiple reports side by side. Dashboard components come in a variety of chart types and you can customize how data is grouped, summarized and displaced for each component. All these components can be dragged and dropped on the dashboard. These will help you creating the key performance matrices as well. Let's take a look into how to create these dashboard. Click on the dashboard tab. Before creating a new dashboard, let us look into how these dashboard looks like and how impactful they are. I'll be using one of the dashboard that I have already created previously. If you look at this dashboard into the preview panel, there are different components that are added to this dashboard. Each component will show your report data in different visual chart display. Each data component is associated with the source report as the data source. The data that is displayed varies based on the running user. The components that can be added on the dashboard includes chart, gauge, matrix, table, or a visual force page. You can use chart when you have to depict the data in different chart forms. Various types of charts are available to show your data graphically. You can use gauge when you have a single value that you want to show within a range of custom values. You also have an option to use matrix when you have one key value to display. Or you can depict the data in a simple tabular form by using the table. If you want to create a custom component, show information that is not available in any other component type, then you can use a visual force page as well. Let's go ahead and create a dashboard. Click on the dashboard tab. Click on new dashboard. Enter the name of the dashboard you want to create. You can either put the dashboard into a private dashboard folder or select any other folder where that particular dashboard belongs appropriately. For now, I will put it in the private dashboard folder only. Click on create. Click on the add component to add the component to your preview panel. Search for the report that you want to add to your dashboard. For now, I will add the report that I've already created. I want to display this report in the form of a pie chart or a donut chart. So I'm gonna click on the donut chart and show this report in the form of a donut chart. Click on add. You can add another component to your report. I want to see how many of these leads are created by web. Select. And I would want to show the reports in the form of a horizontal bar chart. Click on add. Click on save to save your dashboard. Click on done. 
Over here, you will see that our dashboard is generated. Now you will see that we have two different components, which are two different reports added to your dashboard, and they are depicting in a different visualized form. I'm viewing this report as Puja Arya. Click on edit. Over here, you will see that we also have option to add filters to the report. Dashboard filters make it easy to provide different combination of data from a single dashboard. You don't need to have a separate dashboard for different set of user. You can just give each group a filter that makes sense for them. Click on the edit dashboard properties icon. And over here you will see that you have an option to view the dashboard either as yourself or as somebody else. So I click on another person. And let's select some other user and click save. Click on save to save the dashboard. And click done. You will see a message over here that this particular user does not have access to the dashboard reports. And I'm, I'm viewing this report as a different user. The reason why the user is not able to access these uh, reports are because I have put my dashboard into private dashboard folder and I have not given access to that particular user. Let's go back to edit and edit the properties to view as current user. Click on save. With the dynamic dashboard, each user see the data they have access to without needing to create a separate dashboards for each user. For example, if your company has a vice president, sales managers and sales reps, a single powerful dashboard can be used for multiple users in the, in the company because the logged in user viewing the dashboard sees the data they should see based on their security and sharing settings. Which means sales rep should see their own data. Managers can see the data of the reps they manage and VPs can see data across the entire team based on the security and sharing settings. This concludes this episode on dashboard. Thank you all for joining me. If you have any questions, then please send them as comment below and do not forget to subscribe to our channel for future Salesforce tutorials.